Hello guys and welcome to another HackerRank video. Today we're going to be solving dynamic array. In this problem, we're given a list of requirements that we need to convert into code. So it's a little bit fun. Uh, if you've ever done some programming and if you work at some software company, you get this all the time, all right? And I'll tell you, this is a little bit better than some of the stuff I've received. Anyway, the hardest part here is probably just looking at some of the symbols and converting them. But if you've ever read like Hacker's Delight or some pitch shifting or you do some embedded programming, um, this symbol should be familiar to you. So this is just the XOR um, symbol, all right? Okay, so we're gonna create a sec list. This is going to be a list of lists and then we're gonna initialize them with empty sequences. So let's go ahead and just do that. And then I'm gonna go step by step so that we know what we're what step we're in. So we're gonna create a list of list of integers. And this is going to be called sec list. And we can set that to a new array list. Okay. So here we so we create a list of list of integers. Okay. And then the next thing we need to do is initialize um, it with empty sequences uh, from the index zero to n. So we are given n as an input here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to uh, initialize with empty list. So for that, we need a for loop for i equals to zero. i is less than n plus plus i. So we're going to say that um, sec list dot add, you're going to add new array list and we're going to make this integers. I'm just going to make sure that this is going to be uh, I mean by default you should know that I'm taking in a list of integers because we specify them here but it's not it's not a problem to re-specify that we're taking integers. I think if you just pass in the array list, it won't complain for raw type. So we should be okay there. All right. And then the next thing that we need to do is, uh, once we've done that, we need to create an integer, last answer, initialize it to zero. So uh, let's create a last answer. Variable. So, uh, the int last answer, and we're going to set this to zero. All right. So once we have that, we need to uh, go over our queries. So we have two types of query. Uh, we have one. What we need to do is get the index using x, and then the last answer, and we're going to mod that by end. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do is we're going to append um, y to the to to the um, sequence at that index. All right. So you can see that this portion here um, is a duplicate of here. So what we can do is we can isolate this logic. Um, so we need to go over. We need to go over our query, so I'm going to say for um, lists of integers, and I'm going to call this Q for queries in queries. Okay. So what we're going to do is calculate that index. So the index is going to be, and we need to take in X, right? So it's. Xor 
um, last answer mod n. Okay, so this is going to be the query type. This is going to be x and this is going to be y for our queries. So we know that x is going to be at one. So we're going to say that um, q dot get one, right? We're going to sort that by our last answer. And then we're going to go ahead and mod that by n. Okay. Um, and then we need to get y because y is something that we might need for both places. Uh, we need to append y to the sequence, to an empty uh, sequence in the sequence. And then we need to also um, get a value using y. So we can isolate that logic as well and place that in one spot. So here, let's do uh, int y is going to equal to uh, q dot get two. All right. All right. So once we have that, we need to switch over our um, query type. So this is going to be in q dot get zero because that's the first value. And we could create a case for one. And I'm going to do a break here. And kind of shift it here, make it a little nicer. And case two, and let's do a break. Okay, all right. So for case one, uh, we need to go ahead and append, um, we need to append y to the empty sequence in the sec list of list. So what we're going to do is say that the uh, sec list dot get, we're gonna get the index, and then we need to go ahead and add uh, y. Okay, so we're, what we're just doing is we're saying, look into our list of lists, grab our list at that specific index, which is going to be less than end. Um, and we're going to append y to it. And if it's two, it wants us to get the size of the, so if it's two, we still had that index that we had earlier because this is an isolated logic. And then um, what we need to do is we need to grab the um, sequence so we need to grab the size of the current sequence, all right? And then we need to grab the value there and we need to assign that to last value. So um, let's see, what's the easiest with this? Okay, so I know that we need the size. So we'll int size is gonna equal to, and then what we need to do is uh, get the, so we're gonna do sec list that, we're gonna get the current uh, list, right? And then we're gonna grab the size of that. All right, and then the next thing we wanna do is we wanna assign um, a value to last uh, answer. And this is gonna equal to, and we're gonna do a sec list, right, dot get uh, index. But this time we want to do um, get and we want to do y mod size here. So we're going to do, it wants us to do uh, y mod size in that specific sequence and then assign that to last answer. Okay. So once we have that, we need to make sure that we append answer to, to uh, result, to last answer to result. So for this, we need another uh, container. So this is going to return um, correct result. Okay. And for this, we could take another list of integer because that's what we're going to be returning. And we're going to call this one uh, responses. 
or you know what, let's put this as correct uh, queries with equal to new. Uh, let's call, let me make this one a real list. All right, so what we're going to do here is I'm just going to copy this so I don't make mistakes. All right, and I'm going to paste this. And what we're going to do is we're going to add in um, last answer. All right, and this is pretty much it. All right, so that's pretty much it and then bring this out on the new line so obviously we're not printing this out on the new line we're just going to go ahead and return this um, because it's going to be stored in the queries list so we need to go ahead here and do a return and do correct queries all right so this is pretty much it um, this is just taking the requirements converting them into code and then um, returning that so let's go ahead and run this And that's good, and let's submit.